Mind Wings Audio presents Shortcuts, written by Taryn Webb, read by Marguerite Gavin. Doug laughed at me while flipping burgers with a slide lift turn technique. One by one, the meat patties hit the grill with smoky hisses, and the greasy smell took refuge in my hair and clothes. Just take Cosmos Road, Gil, honey," he repeated, "and it'll cut ten miles off your drive home." Pressing down on the meat with his spatula, he added, "Crosses Highway Twelve, a mile west of Herzog's Mini Mart." I was familiar with Herzog's, but not Cosmos Road. As a newbie to the area, I tried not to veer from the main routes, especially in January. But our exchange wasn't about shortcuts or anything else. Doug communicated when we worked together. I usually played dumb, not a brunette type of behavior, but so far it had done the trick. I also knew enough not to upset the cook. Wisdom to live by in the restaurant biz. I ignored his sexist remark. That my burger and fries? He nodded. Cosmos is in a country road in the middle of nowhere, is it? I asked with enough interest to keep him happy. No,、nah, he said. My house is out that way. Thought you could stop in, have a beer, and relax. So there it was. The retired Navy cook, with unflappable concentration during a bar rush, was hitting on the green divorced waitress. Still, I'm a brunette and equipped to think on my feet. How about Saturday? I suggested. I'll bring my son Nate. Root beer, okay? I'd hate to kill his brain cells this early in life. A kid, he said, his mouth souring in a one-sided sneer. I shrugged. Yeah, I'm a mom. Deal with it, big guy. I snatched my order off the warming shelf and hurried out of the kitchen. Our manager rotated workstations every other night, so I was behind the counter for two shifts. Tips were bigger in the main dining room, but I didn't mind taking my turn in both areas. I set the plate in front of my customer and slid a discarded menu over to his neighbor. Anything else? I asked the burger and fries guy. Yeah, where's the good-looking blonde from last night? He popped a bunch of fries into his mouth. Name's Phil, he said as if presenting me with a gift.